Hi, Diamond Painting friends. It's Linda with Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I know y'all are busy, so thank you. Um, I always forget about like the thumbs up and liking and commenting and all, all that. So um, if you feel like um, you like the video by the time you're done, um, I would appreciate a thumbs up. So today I am doing kind of like an, well, it, it's a Amazon some goodies that I got from Amazon. So kind of like, I guess, an Amazon haul. I got some trays. I got some coasters and some storage containers. So I thought I would just share all that with you. And yeah, let's try some of it out. I wanted to share a storage unit and then do like a kit up. But then I thought, well, maybe I'll do that later. I'll do a kit up in one of the storage units or containers. So let's see. I think I'm just going to keep my glasses off. And I wanted to share these trays that I got. There's four in a pack and I got these for like $8.49. So, and that was on sale. I think they were on sale. And then they were normally like $11, which um, to me is kind of expensive, but then again, it's four trays. So let's go ahead and open these up. I checked the plastic, there were plastic on here. And they come in, I think this is the one I've opened a little bit. They come in four different colors. And they're really cute little butterfly thingies right here. Stoppers, I think that's what they are. And it says diamond painting drill tray. You get a brush, drill trays, drill scoop, and butterfly plug or the stoppers. Oh, and here's the back of the box. So they have like um, those little grids inserts or you don't have to use the little grids at all. So this one has two, three, four, and five. And this one has six, seven, eight, and nine. So let's take those out. Let's see if we get all four out. They're stuck in there. I'll open this side. Let me know if you have these or if you know if you've tried these. So I thought these would be fun to collect them and eventually like kit up in these, but I'm not sure. Um, because four for well, it looks like the regular price for them are between eleven and twelve. So I don't know. Is that a good price? I'm not sure. Um, and then I thought maybe I could just collect them and eventually one day kit up in them. The only thing that um, I'm not too sure about is I would like it if they actually didn't come with this insert in here and were a little bit less expensive. So let's see, it opens like this, so it slides off. You can slide it back on like that. And then where's the one with the... So you get purple, blue, like a peachy pink color, or maybe it is pink and then a white and then you get this little brush so you could brush them down into the hole once you take the stopper off and then you have this little scoop how cute little scoop here and it folds up i don't want to break it how do i oh anyway it folds <laughs> okay so you could take the stopper out and then use this get the little the grid out so there's the grid and then there you have like I think that's two three four five and so forth and then the goes over here so that could be put in or you can have it like this and I thought we could go ahead and put some diamonds in here and try it out so because I'm thinking if, you're gonna have to buy a lot of these to kit something up I, I was thinking maybe I could buy like a total of 20 or something like that and use them for smaller diamond paintings. Um, and then you could put the sticker here. Okay, so I have some drills here. These are budget drills, so I might have some trash, but we'll see how it lines up. So you could put the stopper back while you shake it because it does, if you look right here, 
It is, it does, and it, it looks like if you shake it, they could come out. So I guess you could put that there, hold it in, and then just do some shaking here. And I guess if you were to do this whole thing, actually, because if I'm, if I'm planning on kidding up with it, go like that. And let's put this under so you can see better. You see how they lined up? Lined up pretty good, pretty good to me. And then uh, let's see, let's transfer them into here. So we'll take this out. And I do think it'll be hard to transfer them without putting the lid back on. So I'm just gonna put the lid on. I guess we could try it and see, but I think it'll be hard. But if you're kidding up in this, you won't be needing to transfer it. But if you're not kidding up and you're just using it as a tray, whoops, see there went one flying already. It might be just easier. Well, if you want to get this in a storage container, you probably should put the lid on. Just to make it easier. So if I were trying to get it back into my storage container, if I was just using it like a regular tray, I would go like this. And just tap it till they all went in. And I didn't wash these, so I don't know if they have any static on them. Sometimes it's good to wash your trays before you use them. And it looks like some are still in there. Let's see. So there are some that are caught in there. And I think that's because these, they don't like go down. Like if you were to look at, like the ballot, oh, oh yeah, see how this has like a curve right here? So it, oops, I don't want them to come out. It, it guides the drills down and this doesn't have that. Or sometimes the lines kind of stop and they kind of come down like that as well. And this just has all straight, so. But if I were to kit up in it, I guess that wouldn't matter. So, and I think if I was kitting up in this, I probably wouldn't leave the grid in there. What about you? Let me know what you think. That's kind of a lot. So there it is with the grid. I think they line up really nice though. So let's put the lid back on and we'll put it in here. Let's, at the easiest way I think is to just, for me, is just to push this out from inside. And then we'll just kind of go like that. Oops, oh, I just spilt. I think I got too wild there. Let's just hold it like that. So it kind of is not that easy if you're going to be putting them in and out of your container. I think I would prefer to use these as kitting up in trays. So. I think that's how it would work best, at least for me. Okay, let's see if I get them all back in there without making a mess. I guess I could always go like this to at least keep them contained. And I think it's harder because of those grids. So they're bouncing off the lines in there. So I don't know, I don't know, is this a yay or nay? <clears throat> I guess it depends on what you're going to use it for. So I'm, I'm kind of like, not sure if I want to buy more, but then I would like to try it out to see how it works in a tray tower. Or even if I could just find a container and have them sitting like this, and then you could have the stickers right here and just kind of pull them up like that. So I paid like 16, maybe $17 altogether. I did have a, I did have a coupon. Oops, did I put that in wrong? Yep, I did. Oh no, I put that in wrong. So this actually goes, this actually goes on that side because you could 
scoop it out. But uh, so I had so to me for me it was kind of like buy one get one free. But that's because I had a a gift card. That's what I was trying to say. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about these. So again, I have a total of eight of them, and I'm thinking of getting two more sets. But if I if they're not on sale. That's gonna be like $23 for eight. Right now they're on sale, so it's like 16, maybe $17 for eight more. So I don't know, I'm not sure, but I would like to collect them. Maybe I will, maybe I'll get two more sets while they're on sale and then, um, I just don't have too many kits that don't have, I mean, I don't have too many kits that are like with 16 or less colors. So, and I think if I were to kit up in these, I would just put, um, let's see if I, I would just put enough in here to make, to be comfortable so I could get and get the drills with my pen and then most likely leave them, the rest in little baggies. I do that all the time with regular, when I kit up in regular containers because I don't, I don't do like if there's a whole bunch of 310s and it's going to take four containers. I don't do that. I just fill up the one, leave the rest in the baggie, and get it out when I need it. That's how I kit up. So, the other thing I got is... Oops, this has my address on it. I thought I would do this next year. So, I got it for... Not right now. Um, you know, it comes with your pen, your wax, and your tray which I most likely won't use. I'm not even sure if I'll use these things. I think they're supposed to be like keychains. But I thought I've been wanting forever, probably since I started diamond painting, those mugs, those that you they're on a canvas though. I think they're like maybe like 12 by 12 inches. I don't know how much that is in centimeters, but I think that's about how big they are. I could be wrong. But they're one mug for every month. So you, every month you do want a canvas with a mug on it. But I never got them. Um, I just haven't ordered them. So I thought, well, maybe what I will do is I found these. And these are the exact mugs. So maybe I could do these and make these into cover minders. They're pretty small, which I really like. And there's one for every month. So I thought I could do these on... I could do these, like film them while I'm doing these. I could do a whip and chat with these. I don't know, like, I think that's like a winter one. That's probably December. I have to figure them all out. Oh no, this is probably December. Um, and that one's probably March. This is February. I think this one is June. Love the rainbow. And July, let's see. So maybe this one's January, February, March, eight. That looks like fall leaves. Let's see, I don't know, March, April. I'm not sure which one April is. Maybe it's, no, maybe this is, no, this is eight. Okay, January, March, April. What is on here? That's a butterfly, maybe that's May. That's probably June, July. That looks summery, August. Let's see, what is on here? Oh, this has pumpkins. So this is probably September, October. I don't know, November, December. No, December. I don't know, I'd have to figure it out. <laughs> but I think I got most of them in order. But I thought that would be fun and they're small. They're not too big, so it won't take a lot of time, which I don't want to take a whole lot of time for my, my canvas diamond paintings. So yeah, I thought that would be cute. Do one a month, and I'm gonna put a mag, oh look at they're on both sides. Oh, maybe, well, I think I want to make it into a magnet though. I want to make them into cover minders. But that's neat that they are on both sides. And then here are all the drills. I wonder how many colors. Maybe I could maybe I could kit up in, in these in these things. Let's see. So they're all crystals. 
and I don't want to do a whole lot of crinkling. Where does it open? So I'm not going to do these until January. Okay, I apologize for the crinkling. I just want to see how many colors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's not too many colors, so. So I probably, I would have to, yeah, that'd be kind of, a, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But that is that, and I just thought these were really cute. I like the size, I really like these for, for cover minders or a magnet on my fridge. So I don't think I'm, maybe I'll do one with both sides just to see how it looks. And then maybe I could still make it into a cover minder, I don't know, we'll have to see. Okay, so I got that. And then I bought, and we're, after this I have the storage containers or units or whatever you call them. So this I bought as a Christmas present for my sister. Normally I wouldn't show it on here, but um, it kind of didn't work out as to be a present for her. So again, your standard stuff here. Um, she's a Lions fan, a Detroit Lions fan. So that's what I thought I bought because I just noticed the blue. And uh, I ended up getting Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> which is a real bummer because my husband likes the Dallas Cowboys, but he's not like a true fan. So if he moved to your state, he would, you know, like that state's um, football team. So he's not like diehard. When we lived in California, he was a 49ers fan and came out here. Now he's a Cowboys fan. So I wouldn't normally mind making these for him, but it's not like he's a real fan. <laughs> So I'll probably end up doing these though. And yeah, so except I think I might make one into a magnet. I might not make them all in coasters. Maybe I'll make, I'll let him choose which ones he would like as a magnet. And then before we put these on, I think these go on like that. So do you, any of you own these kind of coasters? Cause it seems like once you put the diamonds on and seal it, it doesn't, I guess it protects your, surface but it doesn't you know how like if this was on top this would um soak up the the sweat that comes from the cup if it's really cold and then of course it would dry um how do these work i'm just curious i still plan to do these and maybe get some more there's a really cute monster set and a cupcake set um so i will i just do plan to get them just because they're cute but i was wondering how do they work let me know in the comments if you've tried them and this one's one two three four four five or six colors on this one so maybe i could kit these up in here i wonder if these ones fit with these um the lines here we shall find out in the future so maybe i will buy two more sets of these but let me know let me know what you think about these so we have that and then I've been looking for some sto more storage containers um, because, you know, me, I love kitting up. And I've been trying to find some that have 70 bottles or containers inside because a lot of my diamond paintings, I have a lot of um, storage thingies that are like 54, 56, 60. But sometimes you have paintings that are 67 or you know closer to 70 so i was trying to find something and they do make these with 70 in them but they're ex I, they keep being like 23 25 29 dollars i'm trying to find them like 23 and below it's like so i did find this one this one's actually 96 which i thought was a an interesting number um it's it's kind of wonky on the bottom like it goes i don't know if you could see it through the camera but it kind of goes down a little bit which is okay. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't do anything with the inside. And so there's another one that has 96 that I think I'm going to get. I have um, another gift card for 
that I'm going to use and that will bring the price down. So this one is 96. And it has this, all these pretty colors. Too bad we couldn't diamond paint the case. That would be really neat. So here are 96 bottles. Like, like this, screw, top. And if you, when you're, if you're working on a small space, you can take these out and remove the case and put the case aside and just put this on your space. And if you have a small easel, like a, I use my cookbook one and I just place it like this. It's really nice because then it's at a slant. It's, so, so I have a cookbook one that I use for my cookbooks, but I snagged it from the kitchen and now I use it in my diamond painting with my diamond painting. And this one came with this cute little case here. Unzips so and you can put your stuff in it. Really cute, I like that. And then it came with a funnel. And this funnel is actually pretty decent compared to a lot that I get. Normally I don't, look at this one doesn't have like, it's not all wonky. So I think I'm actually gonna keep this one. And then you get this pretty pen. I really like this pen. I wonder if it's a glow in the dark. Not, not, it's not like I diamond paint in the dark, but those are kind of neat. But look at those pretty flowers. I really like this pen. And I like the size. I'm for thicker pens. Like here are a few of my pens. So this is this is fine for me. I just don't like when they're super thin. Um, like here's another one. This one's like nice. So they're not all as thick as this one. This one's like nice and super thick. But this one is thick enough for me. It's not super thin. There are some that are thin, um, like this one. Let me show you. This one, well, this one's not too thin, but this one's on the thinner side. This is why I use it for my ABs. I got alien putty in there. I made a video on alien putty. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And then it comes with some tips there. And it comes with some pens and some more multi-placers, or I guess these are multi-placers. A straightener, some baggies, two trays, and some wax. And I think that's everything that it comes with. I probably won't use any of this. So, I don't know, maybe I'll use a straightener. Oh, and then it has those tweezers, but these plastic tweezers are kind of useless. I don't know why they even make those. If you have used these for anything, let me know. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll keep the straightener. So it comes with these goodies, but I'm going to take these out, so I'm not going to leave them in there. Let's put these behind. And then you get some stickers. I'm sure it's probably 96 stickers in there. So that is what comes with this one. Where did I put that pretty pen? Oh, well, it's around here somewhere. So 96, I thought that was awesome. I might get another one. I know I don't need any more, but I still have some, I still have some kits I really want to kit up. And then I got this storage. Let me move this other one out of the way. This one, let me just move that like that. This one is in the bottle. This one's a different little container, so I thought it was interesting. And this one holds, let's see, I wrote it down so I knew I'd forget. 54. So yeah, it's another 54. But I thought it was interesting. The only thing that's kind of bulky because of the sh these shapes. So there's two rows, and then again, you could take them out and then probably even set them this way. Yeah, that's a good idea. That way you could get two two on that on your you don't have to have a big because my cookbook um thing is only so big i'd show you it but it's um has some other drills on it right now yeah so you could put them like that and then you could just put the case aside oops i think does this one go on the bottom yeah so this one goes on the bottom and these seem easy enough to get in and out and then this one goes on top, and I think, let's put these 
This one didn't come with anything, which is fine. I don't need any more of those trays and all that stuff. So you put your drills in here. And depending on how you're gonna use it, I'm thinking if I, I'm gonna put them up like this. Yeah, I guess that would be the right way anyway. But so here, let's shake it, see if anything comes out. So it looks like they'll, pretty, they'll stay in there. Of course, you don't wanna drop it or anything. Probably bust open. And then, I'm sure right here things can get caught, but then you just, I guess, just tap it over your tray and it'll be fine. So I wonder how, how many, um, how big this is. But I'll, I'll find something to kit up in this. <laughs> You know me, I like to kit up. And then, it looks like you might need to use a little funnel though. I wonder if these are going, going to go all over the place. I don't have a tray out. This tray's so small, but I guess it'll do the job. Oh, you know, I have a tray over here that I said I wasn't going to use, and here I am, I'm gonna use it. So, it looks like I would, if I was using this container, I would open that because it looks somewhat easy to put in. Yeah, that isn't, you would need a funnel. Oh, I guess the other one, um, the other container came with a funnel. Where did I put that? Let's try it again. Oh, I'm so goofy. You're not going to be putting it in here. <laughs> You're going to be going this way. Okay. Okay. Now I need to edit. I need to edit because, not that I am, but because I'm so goofy. Okay, yeah, it's fine. You don't need a funnel. That was me um, acting like I'm going to transfer to here, but you're not going to do that. So, so yeah, I like it. What do you think of these? And I've seen these. Um, oh, and this was like, I think this one was 23, but I thought it was kind of unique. So I haven't seen this one before, but I know you could get these not in one of these cases. So I'm gonna take this back out. I'm just gonna put it in the tray. Okay, that was super easy. That was, I can't believe I was trying to make it into one, from one container to the other. Let's just put these away. See how these go in a lot easier than the this because of how it guides them. Even though these lines are straight, it still has like this to guide them. So I really like this. And again, like I said, you can you can purchase. I'm, I know I've seen these by themselves too, so they might be cheaper to not get them in this case. The only thing with this case, it is a little bit on the bulky side. Um, let's see, let's compare it to one of my other ones. This one's like way more bulky. Well, maybe not. So this one, oh no, they're this, they're about the same ones. This is zipped. This one, man, I made a mess. Let's just put all that side over here. This one is actually a square. And I think this one holds like 104 or something like that. I love these containers. And again, you could put these on the that way or this way if you wanted to, or just take them out and that way you don't have to have the, the big suitcase thing. So this holds 104 and this holds 54 and they're the same like bulkiness. So I'm gonna keep that in mind if you're thinking about these ones. I just thought they were neat, something different. this one back over here. I really like these square ones. I got these ones on Amazon as well. But yeah, so that is my Amazon haul. Um, what I got. I can't think of, did I get anything else? I think that's everything. So let me know what you thought. Let me know, um, do you, have you used these containers? Have you used these trays? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Oh, and let me know about the coasters. If you've used the diamond painting coasters after you've sealed it, because I believe you have to seal them. I got to buy some like sealing stuff. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on it. 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. And if you made it to the end of the video, why don't we put um, a football, like if you're a Lions fan, you'd put the lion emoji. If you're a Cowboys fan, you could put the cowboy hat or that cute little cowboy emoji with a little cowboy hat on the emoji. That one's cute. I use that one a lot. Um, if you're a Cardinal fan. Is Cardinal football? I don't know. But anyway, if you can find, or oh, hey, I think there's actually a football emoji as well. So anyway, just put anything like football and uh, yeah. So I will see you in my next video and y'all have a great day. Bye.